First up is Ken with his Gladiator. This is just a little impromptu competition. Give you guys your RC fix. And he's gonna go this way. We've got three gates set up. A start, a mid, and a finish. I'd say it would allow you like five inches back of space to do your bump. Because sometimes you just gotta bump. There you go. Can I get it? The cone? No, not yet. Oh yeah, you cleared it, you cleared it. Make sure I stay out of his line of sight. Yeah, I'm not actually marking down points or anything. I'm just going to try and keep mental track. You can get up here. You hit a cone. It's just a cone. <laughs> now these this gate's tricky because you got potential for sliding right here. Where's that dig at, uh, dig function? Yeah, that's true, that's true. He's through the gate. Well, technically that is the finish, so you can back up to make your corners and all that stuff from there. <laughs> he don't need trails. All right, good job, Ken. Next up, Gage. I might have to do the run again with the Yoda to get one of you guys to film it. That's hard starting on that side. That way though, it's a Lots of little trees and twigs in the way. We did have, like we were forced to clear leaves guys because traction, you know, and slidage. Around the tree. Nice tight turn there. You got it covered though. Cleared the gate, no problem. Cruise on up to the next one. That gate's too easy. <laughs> But the exit of it leaves you on an angle, so you gotta make your choices of where to line up for. Whoa. I think he's clear of all the rollover spots. And the final gate. No problem. And away he goes. All right, now you guys haven't met this guy yet. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Jordan. Nice and to meet you guys. Today he's going to be running. Baby Undersized. <laughs> it SX, SCX24 is it? Or yeah. SX? SCX. And it got this little. Look at that guy. 
Or are you going to tackle this way or the other way? I'm going this way. <laughs> I don't think your dog's up the scale. <laughs> What's up, A little bit of complications with those ruts there. Those ruts are giant by comparison to that truck though. The big trucks are enough to make ruts for this one. <laughs> Beauty little ram charger body though. You got a little mini cage kind of thing going on in the back. The mid gate, no problems. Oh, you had a couple of backups on the first gate, but to be expected. Oh no! Oh, it would have met that tree. Hang on. Right. Respawn. <laughs> like I said, this is just a little impromptu competition. Not really tallying points or anything, but I'm just keeping mental track of how good each driver does with their vehicle. How much backing up they gotta do or repositioning. Yeah, you cleared the third gate. There he is. Nice. All right. Well, I guess. Oh no! It's a good thing you're already through the gate. <laughs> I guess I'll power up the Yoda, and one of these guys will record my pass with the with Master Yoda. No problem. I was gonna say I've been looking for yours. I thought you're carrying it. Come on, guys.
<laughs> just bounces over it. Oh, I hit something there, didn't I? I think yeah. Right. No roof rack. Oh, you just gotta hang left, dude. Even if I hang left, you're, see, I'm touching no matter what. Right <laughs> Alrighty, so we found another area to set up a nice little run. Let's show you guys what the course is real quick first. Go through those cones. Through those cones. Right there, you see them? Then you can either go under the bridge, if you can clear it, or you can go around the bridge. But you gotta get through the water and up this hill, and if you look very carefully, you might be able to see the cone up there at the end of that log. Come back around, and then do the final crossing and finish. So, we're gonna see how the Gladiator does. one-handed and filming because I'm too picky. Through the abyss. Oh, push that board right out of the way. Now we try to put these cones so there's a little bit of a tip challenge. Oh, I hit it twice. Usually. I hug that tree, because tree huggers, right? I got it, I got it. Oh, I forgot about that cone. That's I took. What I was telling you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm obviously not gonna win that round, but it was still a good run. We'll let the Mogwai guy go. He almost hits the entry cone. How do you, How do you do that? <laughs> and yes, I'm filming this on a cell phone today, guys, because. Oh, I didn't plan on filming. I just want to come out and have some fun. But this was too fun not to film. Thank you, Rooted. Yep. He's going swimming. <laughs> And now for the tilt. I almost stepped on that cone. Look how close that was. No problem for the Unimog. All right, here goes Ken in his modified Gladiator. 
Ken's running the same quick run uh, two-in-one ESC and motor combo so he has no water issues to worry about he had his first and uh, when I saw how awesome it really was I had to get one actually I had to get two. Oh, my transmitter's up on the hill no problem with that gate time to go for a swim sending some waves pushing that board Almost a tip factor there. Every time. Yeah, that is a tight little corner there. That's one place for the. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Good driving, guys. Now, this one I think is the one people will be most impressed with. All right, here we go, 24th scale, competing with the 10th scalers. Now when you're that small, obstacles under the water. Stuff you're not even gonna see can stop you. <laughs> Go this way this time, it's probably easier. You going under bridge? Yeah, oh, he's going under. <sighs> Is that what's going on? Yeah, I keep going the wrong way. How's that like coming through there with that? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm watching it through the boards. <laughs> Oh. And your plank's still in place down there too. Unless you're gonna do what you did last time, that'd be even cooler. I'll try it. You got a fresh battery. Jungle already. Oh no! What? Oh, my phone just got mental for a minute, that's all. All is well. <laughs> He's gone submersible. There you go. After a few water runs, it sounds like Yeah. I'm buying one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Twig stuff. I'm totally buying one. I think it's fucking cool. And they make it make them in a deadbolt too, eh? Yeah, uh, that's the one uh Rob oh. has. Yeah, I know WL Toys, or WPL or whatever, they make a lot in oddball sizes like that. Yeah, they got the 116th that I really like. But they may start coming out with uh, more, you know, for that. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Just to make sure it wasn't towards any Dude, trucks. You're crazy, I would not attempt that. Here he goes. You're fucking nuts. You better give her. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my Way God. to go. Wow, good job. I'm good job. Cool. All right, so a nice muddy day of fun. We all got out, had some fun, competed a little bit, 
and to the winner goes a prize. So for doing absolutely great with a damn near stock 6x6 Unimog, you sir win these. Pop them open, let the folks see. Oh, the golden jack, jack stands. Now I'm gonna be doing up, I know I told you guys earlier, but I haven't told the vlog. I'm gonna be doing up golden accessories once in a while, and we'll do like impromptu competitions. And if you're at all of them, you compete and you do good, you can collect all gold scale accessories. If you're keeping that body on. And you don't, you don't have a set yet either. Uh, I just have the one, because I oh, broke my other. You're gonna need another two. Yep. <laughs> Keep competing. Now I realize this video may be a little confusing because we started in Hamilton at the Devil's Punch Bowl and now we're here in St. Thomas at Dalewood, but that's just how it happened. And the other video was too short to do on its own, so double bonus for you guys. We'll see you later. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Get out, have some fun. We gotta get out of this bush. I fix my coat. See you guys later.